In this video, we're making this beautiful and delicious Snickers cake and I'll show you how step by step. These are all the ingredients you're going to need for the cake sponges. First, you're going to grease and line a 9 inch round cake pan with some butter paper and also make sure to weigh the bowl that you're using to make the batter because you're going to be dividing your batter in three parts. Now in the bowl, take your sugar, the flour, baking powder, baking soda and mix it up. Now add the butter little by little and then you're going to press it with your fork until it's nicely crumbled into small pieces. Repeat till you're done with the entire butter and then you can switch to your fingers and just keep mushing it till you have a sand-like texture. That is exactly how you want the mixture to look like. And then you're going to add in the milk little by little and mix it on low speed using a whisk or a hand mixer. Make sure not to over mix the batter. Also mix in the vanilla extract. Then add in the eggs and mix those in for just a few seconds. Add the chocolate and again mix for a few seconds on low speed till combined. And then switch to a spatula and mix any remaining chocolate in. The key is not to over mix here because you do not want the cake to become too dense. And then I just divide the batter into three parts and bake the cake in three parts. You can also bake the entire cake and divide it into three layers. It's all up to you. So that's one third of my cake batter in the pan and I'm baking it in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 10 to 12 minutes. Make sure not to over bake the cake. Once done, let the cake cool completely and then you can transfer the cake layer into a plate lined with plastic wrap and repeat until you have all the three layers. Now these are the ingredients you're going to need for the chocolate rectangles to decorate and this is completely optional. I just basically piped the melted chocolate onto a tray lined with butter paper. And I needed 8 rectangles here. And then I'm sprinkling half of them with the crushed peanuts. And then I'm going to refrigerate this for 1 hour and then transfer them into a container. And store them in the refrigerator. Now I also used Greek yogurt for this recipe but you can just use cream cheese instead as well. To make the Greek yogurt, I transferred the curd into a muslin cloth and tied it up and let it basically hang till the water dripped from it. And after 5 hours, I had my Greek yogurt. I used this because I did not have cream cheese on hand but you can use either. Now to make the chocolate peanut butter ganache, these are all the ingredients. First, to a microwave safe bowl, add in your chocolate and the peanut butter. Then add in the fresh cream and you're going to microwave this in bursts of about 20 to 30 seconds till it's all melted. Make sure to keep an eye on it so that the chocolate does not burn and keep stirring it. You can also do this on a stove top using a double boiler. And once the ganache has melted, it's ready. Now these are all the ingredients you're going to need for the chocolate peanut butter mousse. Now first you're going to whip your whipping cream until it has stiff peaks.
Then take the dark chocolate and a peanut butter in a microwave safe bowl and microwave it for 20 second bursts until it's melted. You can also use a double boiler to melt them. Once that's melted, you're going to gently fold in the whipping cream a little at a time in the chocolate and peanut butter until you have your mousse. You have to be sort of patient with it until it's all done. And your mousse is going to be ready, refrigerated till needed. Now lastly, you are making the peanut butter mousse and for this, you are again going to whip the whipping cream. Then in another bowl, take the Greek yogurt or the cream cheese and add in the powdered sugar. And beat them on low speed, I would recommend using a spatula first to mix, which I did not do. And once that's creamed, you can add in the peanut butter and the vanilla extract. And again, beat them in until they are creamy. Then gently fold in the whipping cream a little at a time. And then I decided to transfer this mixture back into the whipping cream bowl because that was bigger and just keep folding till your peanut butter mousse comes together. That's exactly what you want and you're basically ready to frost your cake. These are all the additional ingredients I needed to assemble the cake, but you can decorate it however you want. So first you're going to add half of the chocolate mousse onto your first layer and spread that out. Then I place some Snickers on top of it. Then layer it with some chocolate peanut butter ganache. And the caramel sauce. The recipe for the caramel sauce is by the way on my channel so you can check that out if you want to make it yourself. And then place the second layer on top and repeat. And finally, add the third layer and you're going to frost the entire cake with a layer of the peanut butter mousse. Don't worry about this being perfect because you're going to be again covering it with some ganache. Once done, pour the ganache on top of the cake and let it drizzle over the sides. I also used a spatula dipped in some hot water to smooth out some edges because the ganache kind of cooled very quickly. And then I'm using a toothpick to just make a rough circle on the cake. And then you're going to pipe 8 stars on the circle using the peanut butter frosting. And then top those with the chocolate chips. Then place the chocolate rectangles leaning onto the stars. Sprinkle the roasted peanuts in the center. And 
and then I drizzled some caramel sauce in the center as well because it looked really pretty. And then this is completely optional but I used some mini Snickers and peanut butter frosting to decorate the bottom of the cake. And then I again placed the chocolate chips on top of these stars. And your cake is ready to be enjoyed. Make sure to chill this for a few hours and then dig in. Here is me cutting a slice of the cake. All the three layers of the cake look so beautiful along with the decadent filling inside. The caramel, the chocolate and the peanut butter pair so well together along with the Snickers in every bite. This cake is super rich and decadent and perfect for any auspicious occasion that you may have. Or just enjoy it whenever you feel like it. I really hope you try this cake out and make sure to subscribe for more recipes and I will see you soon. Bye!